Recently on my Facebook group, I put up a post about this horse in the round pen here behind me. His name's Dale, he's my wife's new reining horse, and he's a very high level reining horse, but carries some anxiety, especially on the ground. Uh, when we first tried him out, you go in to catch him, he was trying to bite you, he was trying to bite the lead rope, he was trying to bite the halter. You could, when you went to put the halter on him, he'd get it in his mouth every single time. And in the past, I would have thought about a horse that bites quite a bit, nips quite a bit as something to fix but I've been looking at things quite a bit differently and this horse right here I'll, I'll get a hold of him and I'll show you what I've been doing but I'll go in and catch him here in a second and show you how it all works but I just want to I want to talk once again about the Wayne Dyer quote when you change the way you look at things the things you look at change so I'm just going to go in here and catch Dale right now he happens to be waiting at the gate but he never used to be very interested in us like when we first got him you could turn him loose in there and when we first got him, Robin turned him loose and sat in the middle on a chair for a couple of days and it took him quite a while for him to even be interested in going and saying hello to her. What was interesting with him was if I was on the outside of the round pen and Robin was sitting in the middle, he would come over to the fence and stick his head through the fence to engage with me but not with the person in there with him. If we switched places, the same thing would happen. He'd be interested in the person on the outside of the round pen but not the one in there with him. Hey Dial, how are you going? good little man I'll just move him over a second here so what he used to be like and he may still do it just a little bit and I'll talk about how I dealt with it but what he used to be really like was right now he'd have been biting me or biting the um, biting the halter I'll just go ahead and catch him right now you might notice that went over his nose right there and he didn't bite the halter at all which he used to bite the halter all the time and I used to think that horses that bit things were actually biting things and what I figured out is that horses that do that, uh, it's anxiety. And what I've done with him is, like, I'm just watching, he's going to come over here and engage with me. What I've done with him quite a bit, he's not doing it now because he's gotten a lot better about it. But when we first bought this horse, he would be just chomping all over me right now. But what I did with him was whenever he came up and tried to nip on me, I, instead of taking that as something I needed to fix, I took that as him wishing to engage with me. So if he came up and started saying hi, you know, trying to bite me, I'd take my hands and rub him all around his muzzle like this, especially underneath. Now, if your horse is trying to bite you and you do this, and you get bit, your hands weren't quick enough. But I really believe these horses are trying to engage you, and I would just rub all around until he'd had enough engaging. Now in the past, I may have done something similar, but I would rub them on the nose quite firmly. Like, you want to touch me? Well, I'll rub on you till you don't want to touch me. It's not that, I'm not, I'm not trying to get him to go away. And see right there, he went to bite that lead rope, but then he kind of stopped. He used to be fanatical about it. Something else he used to do was bite you when you're saddling him. And I'll, actually, I might take him in and show you what that look, looks like now compared to what it used to do. So saddling Dale used to be a bit of a rassle. This horse could not stand still on his own. Now, if you tied him up, he was fine. And if you held onto the lead rope, he was fine. But as soon as you like, dropped that lead rope on the ground, he was just mentally off somewhere else. And when I would saddle him, right here, he would start turning his head and trying to bite me. And so what I would do, so the saddling process would take quite a while, because as soon as he turned his head and tried to bite me, I would engage with his mouth. I'd say, hey, how you going? And I'd rub on him and get him, I'd just rub all over his muzzle like this, just really engage with him, especially underneath that bottom lip like that. Just rub him all over until he was like, okay, I've, I've done engaging with you. If you come back around, I would engage with him again like this, but but that's all I would do right there, is just basically engage with him until he was done engaging. And when I used to put the saddle on, he'd really try to pin his ears and try to bite me. Hello, mister. Over here. Over this way. There you go. But right here, as you'd come around here to put the saddle on, he'd be biting. See him licking his lips right there? I can throw that saddle on. But he's not trying to bite me at all, but when he would try to bite me, over here, mister. When he would try to bite me, oh, very good. When he would try to bring his head around and bite me, I would just rub on him. So saddling him sometimes, just getting the dirt girth done up might take 10 minutes or so because he would just, 
as soon as I went to do the girth up, as soon as I reached down under here, hello, and this has been a constant, just putting him back where it came from when he moves. And as soon as I go to do the girth up, right there his head would come around and be trying to bite me, but in the past I would let them bump into my, oh, there you go. In the past I'd let them bump into my elbow, things like that, and I've really changed my thoughts about horses that bite and chew on you, and I found that really they're trying to do what he's doing right now is just engage with me. Notice he's just sniffing me, but he's not trying to bite me at all. Hey, mister. I spend quite a bit of time with him just hanging out. Hello, mister. Just giving him a bit of a snuggle, struggle. Struggle, snuggle. You want, if you look at his little lips right now, they're just kind of lipping me. He's not trying to bite me. He's just kind of engaging with me. And then after a while, that tends to stop, doesn't it, mister? Hmm. Are you going to eat my microphone? There you go. And see him lick and chew again. So, yeah. Just completely changed the way how I go about things like that and it seems to have made a great deal of difference with this horse who, like I said in the past, was highly anxious about anything you do with him on the ground. So we just turned the camera off and my wife said, so some people are going to say, why didn't you cinch him up? There are a, a number of people who watch things on social media just to complain about stuff, so I figured I might as well show you what that looks like. So anytime his head comes around here like that, I'm going to engage him. But notice he didn't try to bite me right then, and that was, initially, that was a thing. He was going to bite when I did that. And right here, as soon as his girth came up here, he would be coming around and he'd be, he would be biting me. And he's starting to play with that rope there just a little bit, but he's not biting me. Please don't walk off. Come over here. Very good, thank you. But see, tighten this girth up right here. There's no bite in here. He's coming to say hi, so I'm going to go, hey, how's it going over here? You having a good day? He's gonna, we're going to go for a ride in a minute. This, this right here is what he used to tend to do a lot more than this. But he's just, you know, try not to think they're trying to bite you right here. I'm just going to rub on him, rub under here, just until that little desire to engage with me is basically satisfied. I'm not trying to get it to go away, as in fix it. I'm just trying to get him to where he's like, okay, I've engaged with you, we're cool. And then he just will go back over there and I could finish, I could finish doing the, the girth up.